Hello, I am Archana Bruce, Assistant Professor at AI Systems IOA. In this video, we are going to discuss the progress visualization tools for the software projects for the subject SPM Software Project Management. Okay, so which are the different progress visualization tools are there and why we require this? So first of all, visualizing the progress. So once for visualizing the progress, what we need to do, we need to first collect the data. So having collected the data about the project progress, a manager needs some way of presenting the data to the greatest data, to some higher manager, to the higher authority, right? So we will look at some methods of presenting a picture of the project, a progress of the project basically and picture. So some of these methods are there, such as the Gantt chart, which provides a static picture, a single snapshot, whereas the others, such as timeline charts, try to show how the project has progressed and changed through the time. So there are the different tools are there, for example, Gantt chart, timeline charts, sleep charts, ball chart. So we'll look at some of the tools over here. So the first one is a Gantt chart. So it is one of the simplest and oldest technique for tracking the project progress. This is essentially an activity bar chart. You can see over here, it is activity bar chart. Here is the activities and here the bar chart is drawn based on the activities and its start time and end time and duration, okay? So this bar chart indicating the scheduled activity, dates and durations frequently augmented with the floats. Reported progress is recorded on chart and a today cursor which shows that where we are actually today. Particular activity which provides an immediate visual indication of which activities are ahead or behind the schedule. This cursor is giving the indication of which activities are ahead or behind the schedule. So this is the one of the way to represent the project progress. Okay, the other way is the slip chart. So the, this is one more tool. So slip chart is a very similar alternative used by the project manager. We believe it provides more striking indication of those activities that are not progressing to schedule. The more the slip line bends, here in the slip chart is basically shows the slip line. The more the slip line bends, the greater the variation from the plan. The more the slip line straight, it is means there is no variation from the plan. So additional slip lines are added at intervals. And as they build up the project manager, we gain an idea as to whether the project is improving or not. So a very jag line indicates a need for reshaping of the project because many of the entities are meeting the their deadline. They are ahead of the schedule ahead of the schedule okay so in that case we need to reconsider the schedule so circle will therefore contain only the two dates the original and the most recent target date so here it is the example of the sleep chart you can see here here you can see this is sleep line it is the more jacked sleep line over here it means what here it shows that it is the indication that we need to reschedule the particular planning of the project or the particular planning of particular activity so this is the one way to show the project progress or visualize the project progress. another way is the ball chart so what is the ball chart a ball chart is somewhat more striking way of showing whether or not the targets have been made is to use the ball chart means in this ball chart is basically we use the we make the use of circles and the circle will contain the activity details and we can color those circles based on whether they are meeting the schedule or they are ahead of the schedule Okay, so in this, the circle indicates the start and completion points for the activity. The circle initially contains the original schedule dates, where whenever revisions are produced, these are added as second dates in appropriate circle until an activity is actually started or completed when the relevant date replaces the revised as. So when actual start or finish date for an activity is later than the target date, the circle is colored date. If it is going to finish later than the target date, target date is supposed to be day, and it is going to finish after that. Means what? We need to color that circle in red. So where an actual date is on time or earlier than the target date, then the circle is colored as green. Such charts are frequently placed in a prominent position, and the color-coded balls provide constant reminder to the person. Place some position where. From where each and every team member should be able to see that. And they will get uh, the motivation that, yes, I'm going to meet the timeline. So the circle will be the red or the green accordingly. 
so where more than one team is working in close proximity such a highly visible record of achievement can encourage competitiveness between teams another advantage of wall charts over gantt charts and slip charts is that they are relatively easy to keep up to date only the dates and the possible colors need to be changed based on the whether they are meeting the timeline or not you can see here the example ball chart so this is the code and test module a the timeline here it is given if it is going to miss the timeline it will be colored as a red so likewise this is the example of ball chart the another technique or tool is the timeline chart so the timeline chart is uh, is one of the most useful chart and it uh, overcomes the advantages the disadvantages of the charts which we have described earlier okay so that they do not show the clearly the slippage of the project completion date to the life of the project the earlier chart which we have seen knowing the current state of the project helps in revising the plans to bring it back on target but analyzing and understanding trends help to avoid the slippage in the future projects okay so timeline chart is a method of recording and displaying the way in which the targets have changed throughout the duration of the project and the timeline chart is used to both during the execution of a project and as a part of post implementation review analysis of the timeline chart and reasons for the changes can indicate failure in estimation process or other errors that might with that knowledge be avoided in the future so these are some of the techniques we have seen here for which are used for visualizing the project progress thank you